In this video, I'm going to show you how to compress a video without losing quality. So first, what you're going to want to do is open up a web browser because we're going to download a program. Go to your search and type in Handbrake. Now I've used this program for 15 years and this is an easy, free tool that has been very consistent for me. So go ahead and click on Handbrake. So this is the website, handbrake.fr. And then you're going to want to go ahead and, and download the version that fits your computer. So you can see here this finished downloading. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. It'll give you a prompt to allow the app to make changes. And you can see I've downloaded the older version. So I'm going to download the new version. And then I'm going to set up Handbrake and install. And it was quick as that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And then I'm going to close out of my browser now that I've downloaded Handbrake. And now that it's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and open up Handbrake. And once it's open, it's going to ask you to open a video file that you're going to want to compress. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this video that I have on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click that and click open. And then once it pulls in this video, I'm going to check a few different things. One, the preset you can change to whatever you want it to convert to. You can see you have different file resolutions and you different options for quality, high quality. I keep it at the preset fast 1080p, 30 frames per second. And then here, you're going to want to keep it at MP4. This is just the most recognizable and easiest to open across multiple devices. And then I'm going to click Web Optimize so we can modify it just so it is easily shareable on the web. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Video. And I'm going to double check that these settings are good. The default is H.264, and I'm going to keep it on that. 30 frames per second, you can change it to whatever frames per second you want. It won't be able to increase the frame rate from whatever your source file is. So I just click on same as source, keep it at constant frame rate. And then that is all the settings you'll need to change on that. The last thing is changing where you want to save the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it right to my desktop so I know where it's gonna be and I'm gonna write compressed video. So I can see the difference. I'm gonna hit, hit save. And then I'm going to hit start and code. And then that will start preparing the video and it'll start compressing it. And it'll show you how much time's elapsed and how much time you have remaining before your video has been fully compressed. And as you can see, it finished encoding and it saved the video on my desktop. You can see here the original video is a 43 megabyte file and then the compressed video is a 24 megabyte file. So it compressed the video and if you click into it, it's the same quality. So it didn't lose any quality and it's through the tool called Handbrake. So I recommend downloading that and messing around with it. So that's how you compress the video without losing quality. Feel free to like and subscribe and please tune into other videos. Thanks.